Hey, I'm Dr. Rich. Did you ever see x-ray of your wisdom teeth? Did you ever wonder what they look like in real life? Well, check this out. Okay, so this patient is almost 17 years old. Their upper wisdom teeth are fully up, as you can see here. They're up, but they're kind of crooked. They're overlapping the teeth in front of it. They're actually out towards the cheek and the patient's complaining. He's getting food caught, stuck around him and they're just irritating his cheek from time to time. The lowers are partially up. They're poking through the gums. The front part of the teeth are poking through the gums, but the back part is still covered with the gums. If you look close, let me highlight that for you. You can see where the gums are still covering this. And then also for these lowers too, if you look in the back, there's still a little bit of bone kind of covering the tooth. Not really covering so much as just kind of curving around the back side of the tooth. So that's going to have to be removed to be able to get the tooth out because it's not going to want to come up. Now, a reason why we're taking the teeth out at this time is because the lower roots are not fully developed yet. They're still... If you look close at them, they're on both sides, their tooth's not fully formed yet. So this is gonna make it much easier to remove the tooth. Again, you can see the nerve is actually right underneath those teeth on both sides. So if we were to wait another couple years and let those roots develop further and then go to remove them, if the teeth don't erupt any further and they just stay in this position, but the roots continue to develop, that's uh, gonna be into the nerve, around the nerve. It would make the extraction more difficult and it would also run the risk of having some nerve damage by removing them. So now is a great time to remove these teeth. So here we have the four teeth. Now they look the way they do with the roots being so white in colors because I had soaked them in some bleach prior to filming to just to clean them up, get the blood off it. So this is the upper right hand tooth, tooth number one, and you can see it's not, doesn't have a normal molar shape. It's a much smaller, and the roots too are actually fairly long, but they're not fully formed. If you look close at the root tips there, you can see they're big gaping holes at the apex. So that's that upper one, the roots, it's got one palatal root, and it's got the two roots on the cheek side. And then we got the same tooth on the other side. So this is the upper left side. This is tooth number 16. And again, uh, apex roots, of, the root tips aren't completely sealed. Big, huge openings at the root tips and just funky shape of the crown part of the tooth. So the tooth almost looks like it's a premolar more than it is a uh, molar. And then the lowers, the lowers the have a little bit more of a molar shape to them, but again, the roots are not fully formed. Again, look at the size of those apex, those holes in the root tips. If this, if either of this teeth needed root canals at this stage, the root, can, the endodontist would have a hard time doing that. They would have to do something called a, apexification, try to get it to finish growing before they could do it. And again, this is the bottom left-hand side, very last tooth. And now let's move over to the very last tooth, tooth number 32. That's the lower right-hand side wisdom tooth. Big, huge, open apices because they're still growing. They're not finished fully forming. And you can see the, see even the crown part of it, it's kind of a weird, funky shape, not quite a molar. And there you go. That's all four teeth. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe too. It's for completely free and it really helps out my channel. See you guys in the next video.